Hello and welcome to round 22 The Abu Dhabi Grand Prix uh, This race is the finale of season 1 I start on pole position and let's see how the race pans out Oh, excuse me. It's the final chapter of the season then here at the spectacular Yas Marina circuit. It's a race where the pole sitter failed to finish in three of the first four events. A front row start here is by no means a guarantee of victory. So we go into battle once more as we get underway at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, the Yas Marina circuit, just over 3.4 miles long with 21 corners and two very long back straights. There are two DRS zones going into the heavy braking zones of both Turn 8 and Turn 11 and offer plenty of potential for overtaking. The circuit comes with its fair share of tricky corners as well, in particular 15, 16 and 17, which will certainly test a driver's braking management. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of Turn 1. How do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? Well, the sort of goes both ways, Crofty. You've got to have the discipline not to try and win the race on the first lap. So you've always been prepared to move early and get those around to more space. One of the last of the late break is that half a dozen cars around you may pay off from time to time. But it's also a good way to lose it completely. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lee lines up on pole position and it's about three bottoms. decided to uh, die on my right sorry about that pad decided to die I don't know if you uh, heard it before I put the uh, put the uh, charger on the pad but yeah uh, this is why I used to play with wired pads because I hate the battery packs on the wireless wireless um, pad I don't want to do a flashback I'm only doing the formation lap oh uh, okay uh, I will do that. <laughs> that was bad. Yeah, like I was going to say, I'm starting a brand new FIFA career mode with uh, Create a Team. I've decided that Rangers United is a little bit overpowered. I did basically uh, buy the best players with the release clauses. I gave the team a lot of money. I think I'm going to start again, I'm going to have a proper Youth Academy-esque team. I'm going to call it uh, Rovers United. And yeah, it's going to be interesting. 
because what I'm going to do in that, uh, what I'm going to do is play on world class, and I'm going to play on professional. Radar is clear. Weather is looking good for now. And yeah, I'm going to use the scouts. I'm going to use the uh, free agents, and I'm having players under the age of 20 in my team. So I think the first couple of transfer windows like the August and January one will be uh, where I sell players because by then I should have a lot of youth players coming through the scouting system on FIFA so uh, yeah keep an eye out for that uh, later today because it's gonna be long-winded it's gonna be fascinating it's gonna be a really good really good career mode I reckon and I'm playing world class for the first time on FIFA 22 so I don't know how that's going to bode when I'm literally dominating the uh, professional difficulty keep an eye on the lights the start sequence will begin as soon as the grid has formed be ready with the clutch Let's get the bite, come on, let's get the bite on the go. Come on, lights. I'm going to have to tell Jeff to uh, be a uh, loss at quiet as well. He's going to be annoying in his race. Oh, excuse me, and Bartas okay, gets a decent run. we're monitoring somewhere on the ICE. Be aware that we will start to see a loss of power. Well, looking at the engine wear, it's not as bad as it has been. And Bottas, I don't know what happened to Bottas, but... He dropped a place to Perez. This race is basically just win dominate. <clears throat> what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to end the video at the end of this race. And tomorrow's video will be basically leaving off where this finishes and I will show you the new livery, my new teammates, new sponsors, oh, I don't forget the new sponsors, but basically you'll see the engine that I pick and everything else and the main title sponsor as well for next season. So I'll keep, like I say, keep an eye out for that video. That video should only be about <clears throat> give or take 10 to 15 minutes. If that, it might be even shorter because I'll just run straight through it. Uh, normally, I'll do them videos at the end of this, uh, you know, at the end of the race when I was doing the five laps uh, a season. So, yeah. But it's going to be interesting to do a live video talking about the if I stick with Mercedes engines or I'll go with Ferrari or whoever I choose. So, yeah. I'm still umming and ahhing on what teammate to get. So again tomorrow, that is one video that's going to be amazing. And I can't believe it's Friday. It only feels like yesterday it was Monday. It really does. This week has flown by. And we're literally... Giuliano is coming in for his stop. Giuliano, uh, he must have had damage on his car. Giuliano must have damage on the car, that's not good. Uh, yeah, I can't believe it's only four weeks till Christmas. Four weeks till Christmas, I can't believe you. It, it's bizarre. I'm st I know I'm in medium at the moment. I'm going to use Overtake now. We're accumulating some wear on the MG UK. To manage this, we'll need to lower our ERS deployment mode. Well, hopefully next season I should have at least all my durability maxed out at least level twos maybe level three of uh, push if I can get all the uh, durability doing but also I want to upgrade the marketing and the teammate uh, perks I'm gonna cut across there I went right, we have a very worn out MG UK our battery charge speed is suffering and if it gets much worse we could be forced to retire 
Well, I cut across there at a slow speed so I didn't actually get uh, a shortcut uh, notification. And if this engine where it does last, I don't care, it's the end of the season. It's the last race of the season. And I think after season... The energy store is getting worn, reducing our overall capacity. The more charge you hold, the faster that capacity will drop. Fewer comments. Say that again, we're having trouble receiving. Fewer notifications. There's 11 laps of fuel remaining. Really? Didn't yeah. catch that. Say again. I want fewer updates, Jeff. <laughs> I'll do it on the straight. Give me a second, or I'll tell him. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, I told you Jeff's going to be a little bit annoying. Right. Say again, you're breaking up. You were up that. That's what I wanted. I didn't know what it was called. <laughs> oh gosh, now I've got no ERS. Uh oh. That's not going to bode well. Yeah, like um, like I was saying, after season 5 of this uh, career mode, I might do a mini series of just doing 16 races that would represent the 1999 calendar. And I don't know if I'm going to do an F2 car or do the F1 2020 car, so yeah. Um, when I get round to that though, I'll, I'll go into more detail. So I might be like McLaren or Williams. Because I could, I could do that. It'd be an, it'd be an interesting race, I'm doing 16 races at... Uh, 25 cent distance because there technically wouldn't be no upgrades and the cars would be how they are so it comes down to strategy of tyres and the aerodynamics of the cars itchy nose not good when I'm driving don't mind if I'm on a straight but going on the corners is a little bit uh, treacherous I can't believe I've done four laps already. Um, so, yeah, like I say. So, yeah, like I was saying, so there's a lot of uh, new things I'm going to try and do with this uh, game. I am thinking of doing more last question mark challenges and see if I can do a lap down challenge with 0% AI. Because there's a couple of circuits I want to try. And if I can do 25% distant recordings, it's going to be amazing. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, iconic. Uh, Minecraft is doing okay. The side pods have taken damage. Keep an eye on your engine temperature. Cooling may be adversely affected. Yeah, like I, said, I'm look I am looking forward to Minecraft's update next week. And I don't like I say I've, I've done 33 episodes of Minecraft, so I am going to keep the world. I, I was thinking about uh, changing the world, but now I'm going to keep the world. Um, it's just the downside though, that uh, Claire hasn't been able to join me for the last couple of days on Minecraft because of uh, not being well. We're coming in this lap. Uh, we're coming in a lap early. Uh, let's have a look at how the uh, tyres are looking. Uh, I'm going to stay out for another uh, two laps. Tire wear isn't an issue. It really isn't. But, uh, yeah. Oh, don't mind. I might have to pick that because of the side pod damage. But I'll have a look. Wheel spin then. Okay, that, that could be a, a problem on the rear tyres. But then again, I shouldn't be having that much wheel spin. Yeah, it's been a it's been an eventful day. Well, actually, it's been an eventful week, really. So yeah, if anyone's got any plans over the, over the weekend, uh, yeah, let, let's drop them in the comments below and uh, let's have a discussion about what people do over the weekend because all I do is record videos and chill with Claire. So and that's what we do. <laughs> 
That's what I do. But I am trying to grow this channel with more commentary. Favourite commentary is going to be... I, I don't actually know how that's going to be. I've got a feeling I'm going to be swearing quite a lot on them videos. I'll end up like the True Geordie and the Master Books where they just swear because the game goes, doesn't go the way. Works, taking a few scrapes. Try not to make it any worse. So yeah, it's gonna be fascinating, and I'm gonna some pitch. information on Verstappen. They seem to have an issue. Right, everybody else stay there. I, I'm pitting because of that rear wheel uh, snap of over steer when I was coming through the, uh, the that one part on this on the previous lap. Come on, in, lads, in and out. Come on, get me in and out. Go, bum, bum. Come on, two point five. Go now. I would have preferred it at two seconds, but two point five is good. Last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Right, I don't know how I'm going to bow now with everybody else. But then again, people have still got a pit. I've come in a little lap on the one lap, and there's Norris. Interesting to see. That is intense. And I'm not going to be able to dot him. Dot him down the inside. I will wait for this corner. This is it now. This is where I'll overtake him now. I've got uh, ERS, DRS, and. It's going to be a cakewalk. I could set that off from there. I'll do that one. Hmm. Tyres are... Yeah, the tyres are slow, but I am gaining. I am gaining. I am gaining. And he's slow, and I'm going to dot it. Bit of a dive bomb from a little bit far back, but... I'd have a class of into him, and he didn't test him to me, so that was good overtakes. Yeah, like I was saying now before I uh, had to pit, my favourite videos are going to probably take a bit of a battering with the language. So I'm going to have to apologise every time I swear on FIFA because it's one game I am very passionate about. And I do get highly frustrated when the scripting in the coding is actually there and it's blatantly there, you can see it. And I've talked about this in the week as well. So, yeah, it's nothing un new to me. It's very, very uh, blatant. It's been there since FIFA 10. I might even say since FIFA oh, 07. The car in front is 2.0 seconds. But that's when you played against the World XI in FIFA 11. They played like gods and... Yeah, I think that was scripted as well. Because most people on FIFA 7 actually lost to uh, the World XI team. And they've taken, I believe they've taken them teams out. The, the World XI, the Adidas uh, XI, and the All-American XI, which is the XI is basically the uh, 11. Even now they've got substitutes on the on the uh, pitch because that's the by law they have to. But yeah, the World XI, which is the World Class 11. But there's 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 multiple footballers up and down the uh, world who should be recognised as class uh, footballers, legends of their own rights. Our gap behind is 2.7 seconds. Okay, some information on signs. It looks like the problem is terminal. They're retiring the car. Yeah, um, it's like uh, one footballer called Jan Collar from the Czech Republic. He is a legend in his own right, and he should be on FIFA as a legendary card, and he's not. And I don't know why FIFA don't put him in to the game, because... He, like I say, he in his own right is a legend. He's a legend in my eyes, and he had a fantastic career. Not oh, part of me. They, they put the wrong people in as legends. It's like Pele. He was a legend. Gary Lineker was also a legend. Bobby Charlton, George Best, Dennis Law, Duncan Edwards. All legends, but yet they're not on FIFA because they played in the 60s. Pele was uh, 60s and 70s, Lineker was the 80s and the early 90s. 
And yeah, in my eyes, it, it, it's like Vinnie Jones is not on FIFA. And Vinnie Jones was an aggressive footballer. He did some great tackles. In today's game, they'll be classed as red cards, but that's the way football was back then. And Vinnie Jones was an animal. He won the ball with bone crunching tackles. In today's game, that bone crunching tackle would be warranted a red card. Not in my eyes. That work like that. It's like goalkeepers to say, uh, Peter Schmeichel, legend. Well, I, I agree. Gordon Banks, Oliver Kahn, and people like uh, Bruce Grobola, who was amazing in the 80s. One hand saves. And he comes to near enough his end of his career in the 90s. And he gets and he gets that was the done. Fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. He gets done for game match, uh, match fixing, where he dropped a ball, where he could catch it, or he didn't dive quick enough to, for the ball, so the ball went into the back of the net, and he got done for that. Bruce Grobola did for match fixing, but then again, money speaks. I've said this about Formula One and certain things. Money talks, and when people need money, they do stupid things for it. And Bruce Grobelaar tarnished his career, and I loved Bruce Grobelaar growing up. And then, as Grobelaar got done and then retired from football, I went to uh, I went to the Great Dane of Peter Schmeichel, and his career was fantastic with Manchester United, Aston Villa, Man City. We have five laps of fuel remaining. And he even did Portugal with Sporting Lisbon. In the year 2000 for a season. And Leclerc did really well then. But every car behind me, apart from Perez, is on softs. So this is damage limitation. I've got to stay in first. But yeah. There's, there's a lot of things that happens in football and match fixing is one of them and the case of match fixing was I know it's been in the 2000s I think it's around about 2010 or 11 a team got done for match fixing abroad we're leading our teammate by 35.3 seconds but it does my heading when people get done for match fixing it's like jockeys as well, horse, horse racers, jockeys. They they can uh, they can get done as well for match fixing apparently. Don't quite know how, but it's it's there. But I've got four laps to go. And yeah, again I've talked about football <laughs> and other stuff. But football is a very big passion of mine. And it's bigger than Formula One. I can say that. Right, let's use our take again, so they want to use it on that corner. I've got to start saving some fuel. Could do with a virtual safety car. That's one thing we don't have when Perez, uh, no, uh, Carlos Sainz was at the race. Leclerc is very, very optimistic on me. But if I come off the racing line and just become a mobile chicane, he can't get past me. Oh, oh, safety car. We've been informed of an incident which has resulted in lots of loose debris on the track. The safety car is being deployed. Drop your speed, our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Well, the Formula One gods uh, definitely uh, saw that coming. Yes, the gods have answered my prayers. <laughs> I see the safety car, I've got to slow down a little bit more. There he is. Right, I'm there behind the safety car. the safety car now. Do not pass it. You are the leader. Follow the oh. safety car. Oh, the Leclerc, Leclerc, Leclerc must have hit me. I don't feel the tap on my car. I don't, I don't feel nothing. There's no damage icon pop up. 
No, that's not good. Now, I've got a feeling the safety car is going to come in at the end of lap 12, giving us a two lap race to the There's end. Three laps of fuel remaining. This is not good though, because I've got Hamilton and Bottas behind on soft tyres. Actually, how is my tyres looking? That's a good question. They're in the green at the moment. I've got to keep an eye on my tyres. I need them all green. But, like I say, this car's going to come at the end of lap 12. It's got to... The entire field hasn't, hasn't even caught up to the uh, safety car. I can't hit the safety car either, so I get a five-grid penalty. And that's because he even uh, brake checked me. Yeah, this is going to be uh, quite interesting. I'm just looking at the safety car's wheels and they look kind of strange. I think that's because of the way the car is shaped, I think. See, there's like a lot of cars still trying to catch up to the safety car. Surely he's got to come out for one more lap. If he comes in this lap, then it's just an unnecessary safety car. And my tyres are going cold. Tires have gone cold, this is not good. Warm rear tires warm. Yeah, safety cars in this lap, this is ridiculous. Is it? Is it coming in? No. No, it's coming. Oh, that's good. I knew I thought it was coming in this lap. I was a little bit too slow. Like I said, this is gonna be the lap that comes in. And this is gonna the be turbo charger is on its last legs. Let's try to keep mileage on it to a minimum. Yeah, the two lap sprint is uh, the safety car. You're leading, so don't pass it. Stay behind the safety car. Yeah, this is really, really good at the moment. Safety car's coming in this lap. We're going to do a two lap race to the sprint to the finish. I've got to try and keep Hamilton and Bottas behind. And my tyres are going cold again. I can feel the wheel spin. these tyres back in the temperature ok let's the fronts are ok it's just the rears I'm having full problems with there we go back to normal it is really really vile how, how quick the tyres go down three laps of fuel remaining. well I've got plenty of fuel now I've got plenty of battery as well, by the looks of it. It's going to be good. Right, let's, let's try this. Be Safety car yeah. is in this lap. Safety car in this lap. You will be controlling the pace on the restart. Keep it yeah. steady until the safety car has reached the pit lane. I call it right with the safety car. It's too predictable, the safety car is. Way too predictable. This is not a good song. This is absolutely quite shocking. Oh, it's going cold. This is bad. Okay, I'm just gonna have to uh give that position back. We are under safety Now the tires are so cold that I've just lost the back end. That's ridiculous. But it's okay. Right. Return the position immediately or we will be penalised. There is no overtaking during the safety car period. Gap to teammate behind is 9.8 seconds. Uh, I think I just broke the safety car. Okay, clear. I actually did. I actually broke the safety car. That's actually pretty good. Uh, quick tip for anybody watching this and they've got this game. Yeah, if the safety car comes out and he's coming into the pit lane, I overtake him straight away because once he reaches that pit lane entrance, 
You are the race leader. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. 2020 IQ, that is. <laughs> or 200 IQ, depending on what you want to call it. But that is superb. There's my tyres. Up to temperature, lovely. Can not grumble. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right, we we've go. only got two laps of fuel left. Now he said we've got three laps of fuel. Now he's saying we've got two laps of fuel. And I can't change the standard or, in, or anything on the fuel. So that's just all automatic. Cut across there because I was slow. And Hamilton has soon caught up to me again. Them soft tyres are, are, are literally working for him. If we didn't have that safety car for two laps, his tyres would have died off. Uh, mine would have been in the optimal temperatures and working range. And I've just run out of half a take, I've just forgot to let it on. It's okay. It's all good. But at least there's no DRS available. So it all comes down to speed. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Yeah, this is superb. No DRS available. It is basically a, a, a run to the finish, and I'll just lose the back end. Okay. And I've got a lot more damage as well with the floorboard. So, but uh, so Leclerc must have hit my side uh, side pods or rear floor. I didn't even see that. I didn't even look at the damage. So yeah, it's fascinating. Right. There's been an incident on track, but officials aren't looking to push for a safety car right now. Just be careful. Oh, I don't get that. I don't quite know how much there's the back end. But yeah. Yeah, that, that damage is getting a lot worse. It's now like a lime green. Fascinating. I just go steady into the corners. Ten percent. Hamilton is close, but he's not going to get anywhere. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Hamilton goes down there, but I've got the racing line, and I force Hamilton wide. The Mercedes are very close together. And I have got a Mercedes unit in this vehicle, so yeah, it's good. Oh, Hamilton just hit the back of me. Hamilton hit the back of me as I was slowing down. That's how close he was. That is ridiculous. I'm surprised I didn't get no uh, rear damage. And Bottas will take second place. But Hamilton hit the back of me as I was slowing down. I didn't slow down on purpose for him to hit me. He just too close to me. Fantastic drive, just fantastic. You deserve that race win. It's been a roller coaster season then, but they can go into the winter with their heads held high after an emphatic victory here today. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralized. I mean, do you pit for fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. The faces on our top three look so incredibly happy as they make their way up to the podium. A much deserved victory and a brilliant performance from them all.
Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? Daniel Ricciardo certainly impressed me today. An incredible performance. It's another clear win for Mercedes as they manage to secure the Constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Williams gets two points. Now, that's really actually quite shocking. Is that the first time they got points all season? No, no, Williams got ten points in all. Oh, eight points, I mean, in total. Has managed to pick up one point. Well, at least teams have managed to pick up points, and Mick Schumacher did actually pick up a uh, uh, has point. That's really interesting and really fascinating. Right, let's advance. So that was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. What do you think made the difference between this weekend and... It's safe to see... I think it's great. Appreciate your time. Morning boss, this week's income from the sponsors has cleared and we're making good profit against our running costs. Right, I'm going to end this video here. This is going to be a separate video for tomorrow. But thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, hit that bell for notifications as I do post daily content. And until the next one, I will see you all later. Bye.